Hello, this is Brett Hill, and I wanted to show you a feature in Outlook Web Access that I thought was very cool. It is the ability to send a text message as a part of a rule. You turn it on by going to Outlook, and you select Options, and then you say See All Options. Once you're there, click on the phone, and then select Text Messaging. You'll have a text messaging options here to turn on notifications then you can select the area that you're in in this case the only choices are United States Canada and Romania now I don't know if you'll see other choices if you're in other parts of the world uh, but this is the options that I get here in the US uh, Romania of course is kind of like what how come that's with the United States and Canada however you know hey I know Microsoft has their reasons for doing it the way that they're doing it um, based on a lot of things that have to do beyond technology like a lot of legal uh, agreements have to be come to and compliance and all kinds of rationales go into this that uh, fortunately are obscured to, to those of us that aren't involved with those negotiations and then select your mobile operator if your mobile operator isn't listed here, then instead of directly sending a text message, you can optionally have a message sent to an email address that can be converted to a text message. Most providers allow you to be able to send a text message to an email address that gets converted to a text message um, so you can receive it using a normal rule instead of using text messaging capabilities like we're using now. Then we click Next, and I'm going to enter my phone number. The very next thing that happens is you'll receive a passcode on your phone. So I just got my text message and I'll enter the number confirmation code here. Now I can tell that I'm set up to receive notifications at the correct phone number. And you can set up either um, notifications using calendars, so you can receive text messages about appointments that are upcoming, or email notifications using an inbox rule. Say I want to receive a text message whenever I receive something from, oh, let's say Chris Angel is calling me. Chris Angel calls, send a text message to this phone number and click save. Now uh, all I have to do is uh, wait for Chris Angel to call me, which is of course not very likely to happen uh, in the near term, but still uh, the point is you can set up an SMS text message using OA to send you notifications. I discovered this little jewel because I was having a couple of website outages uh, that I wanted to be notified about. And rather than get them by email, I wanted them to be sent by text message. So I started looking around and sure enough, this could easily be done. Now, if your provider isn't on the list of providers, you can still very often send an email message to a specific email address such as with Verizon you can send it to the phone number at vtext.com and the email message will be converted to text and sent to the phone giving you yet another way to send a text message using Office 365. So this is Brett. I hope this has been helpful. Talk to you later.